Pokemon is welcome it is the doorman here again open up the door with more Pokemon insurgents don't forget to like the video subscribe for more content ding that bell for notifications and check out my social medias in the description down below with that out of the way how is everybody doing today not gonna lie second day off in a row very happy about that got to spend some time with the fam a little bit I'm gonna spend some more time later hopefully uh -uh. and you know have some good lunch and stuff but we are doing all good here. No part of a team recap. From what I remember in this episode, we are going after uh, Damien and uh, the and I forgot the name of the coal, but we're trying to find Damien in here, and I believe we're getting very close to finding Damien. Here it is. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Lugia versus Kyogre. Okay. Lugia! I think it's the defending Audrey from Kyogre. Dorman is injured! Attack from Kyogre. It wasn't normal. Must be holding Ido, some sort of the boost of strength. Damien, is that you? Audrey, Mom, yes, it's me. The Deoxys thing is gone. I thought that you, you, no, I'm fine. Kyogre's keep me captive, that's all. Can you help me out, please? Why, Kyogre's busy dealing with Lugia? I'm over my head here. I just want to get out. This isn't over. We're gonna have a very serious talk about everything. Dorman, can you spot me? I'm going in using my escape rope as quickly as I can. Hopefully, legendary Pokemon won't notice. I'll rush back down as quickly as I can, and we can take on Kyogre together. Ready? Go! Is it gonna be me, Lugia, versus Kyogre? Okay. Um, first of all, this is the wrong Pokemon to have out. I have Sonar, which will work a lot better. <laughs> like, Chompers, you come back. This is not going to work. That did a lot. Lugia just died. Okay. No, yeah, Lugia just died. He just, oh my, he died. Very quickly. And that did nothing. I don't like Kyogre, first of all, with a water spout. No, second. Sheer cold? No. No, I don't like that. Well, you killed your own partner there, Tentacruel, so you're stupid. Okay, no, but okay, I was already, like, we're already in an intense episode here. Okay, um. I need Psychic. I need Psychic. I'm a rock type, so this is gonna hurt. But hopefully I can outspeed and uh, be able to hit him. No, and there goes hit Robin, okay. Rock and Psychic was not the best combination possibly, honestly. Cause next would be ground. But I feel like he's gonna outspeed. Um. I think that's what Tentacruel is weak to. Let me see. Tentacruel, Tentacruel. Uh, ground, yeah. Electric, psychic. I don't have any electric, so we're gonna try ground. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna outspeed, but I'm gonna find out. Nope, but why'd you use Sludge Wave? That was weird, but okay. We defeated, uh, we defeated that. We managed to save Aubrey. Lugia died, though, instantly. Well, dang. How is it that you always end up battling the legendaries? I don't know, because I'm special. Actually, I don't know either way. Yeesh, it was like you're more important than everyone else. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think I'm pretty special. <laughs> Guess you're the Ogre now, so fair enough. Seems the storms and stuff have stopped on the surface, so the problem seems to be dealt with. Thanks for coming with me. Really glad my mom seems to be all right. I'm really not happy with her, but I don't want her gone. You know, just I know it's gonna be hard. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Hopefully, you're able to get something out of the trip. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's all of that. Um, I don't know where to go from here actually. So let me look it up real quick. First game and surges. Yeah, cause I expected that to be a little bit longer. That was really short. Because I did that, I did that, I've done that, I did that. I did that. Mm. 
Okay, so there is a perfection base, which isn't that much. Huh. Okay, so there's not that much left. I could probably finish it all in one episode if I do it long enough. Did the timeless, did the Holland region, I did that quest. Okay. We need to go over to Gaia Town real quick, and then that's gonna that's gonna get us to the Oh, we healed. Okay. That's gonna get us to one of these extra little quests here. But no, I should be able to get done with this one pretty actually this episode. Oh, you're gonna be a pain in the butt with this. You're gonna be a pain in the butt with this, I think, aren't you? Let me see. Okay, so I gotta find the way out again. I figured it'd just take me all the way back out, but no, it only took me back out to that little cave. Okay. There. Okay, now we're here. Okay, now I just gotta get out of here. Which is a difficult hat in itself, because I don't remember the way out. But I'm pretty sure I can find the way out just by, you know, hitting enough buttons. Okay, uh, I think we go left here. Uh, I don't think that's right. As long as I get close to the exit, I'll be good. Okay, there's nothing here. Let's try down here. But yeah, there's not that much left. It's pretty much just a couple little spots here and there. Okay, I think I found the way out. Yes! I did, okay. Yeah, there's not that much left, and it's really not that much, honestly. Okay, so... Because this one is the no data button, and it's not that bad, honestly. It's just where to find missing now. I could do that real quick. I didn't want to battle you, but okay. If I can find... Can I just get out here? Okay. Okay, that works. Because what I have to do is I have to go to Gaia Town. And we gotta find the human calculator. Okay. Is located on the bench between the houses west of the Pokemon Center. Ma'am? This guy. Yes. And then from what the quest says, we have to tell him, oh crap. Yes, we're gonna perform a calculation. He's gonna, we're gonna tell him to divide. By zero. You can't see it, but the game is supposed to crash. And okay, that did more than I thought it was gonna do. Give me a second. Yeah, that's gonna oh, that's gonna bring us all the way back here, and now that's out of focus, so. Okay, we're gonna have to reload. The result is zero. Okay. So we're gonna hop and then Moga Taxi and sort of the southwest. Where? Ah, here. We're gonna do the Moga Taxi. And then we're gonna go southeast of the town. And it said there's supposed to be a little buggy mess. Southeast of Torin, okay. So we're gonna keep going southeast. We're gonna eventually find it somewhere. Whoop, okay, nope. I do like how this looks. It really does look kinda cool. Here we go, buggy mess. And it says Gaia Town. I just gotta figure out how to land. Oh. 
Okay. Yeah, this is really buggy buggy. I wonder if it is intentionally or if it was just found. But for people that don't know, this is a thing called Missing No. And basically what it was is from the first generation games, it was a Pokemon that never got his data fully done. And so it kind of was a corrupted little file. And so that's basically what it was. It's nothing, I think it's like a water flying type. It could evolve. I think it evolves into Kangaskhan. It was corrupt. Did it die die? Or did it just faint? He just fainted. Okay, because it said the data was corrupted. I was like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Okay, but that was the missing note. But that's basically what missing note is. It's, it was data that wasn't really fully done in the red and blue version, and people were able to find it and catch it. It evolved into Kangaskhan, so a lot of people thought maybe it was like the pre-evolution for Kangaskhan. Like the little baby or something like that. That's what everybody was kind of thinking of what was going to happen was that. There is the Delta Ditto, which it says you got to go to the Ancient Tower and proceed to the top, which we did. We got the egg. Uh, he tells you to meet him in Mechie Town, which you've already done talk to that dude. So now we got to find Mechie Town, and I don't remember where that is. I want it. There it is. Proceed the left side of the daycare. Okay. Ah, right here, this guy. Thanks for coming. Hey, I'm gonna show a little kid around to our project. Follow me, please. Whoa, okay. Can you catch them? I bet not, but okay. Okay, so listen, here's the deal. I'm gonna allow you to beta test our little experiment. But cooped up here for too long and we need to make sure it could do what we made it for. But I gotta make sure you know what you're doing. Tell you what, the experiment is obviously a delta, but if you can tell me what species it was originally, I'll let you through. Should be able to figure out from the context, what I'm studying, and so on. Uh, I don't remember much of the data and stuff, you may go back, but the answer it tells me is ditto. Cause this is how you get the original ditto. Hmm, not bad. I'll let you through, please uh, just treat it nicely, okay? Experiment, but you know it's a living being. And once you get back here, it's this little guy right here. And this is how you breed all the Delta species in the game for like competitive, because there is, like I said, a giant online server for everything. There's an online server, there's online battles and stuff like that for all of Insurgents. But this is where you go to catch these guys. This is how you do it to breed with the Delta Pokemon to get the eggs and all that fun stuff is to do. That's how you get the Delta Ditto. Delta speech is governed by Echo the Third. We rage against cell structure to transform itself. Sometimes make a mistake, it becomes a different type. Okay. No nickname. But that is the Delta one. That's one of the last post-game quests. There's another one where it's the Relic Song, where you do all the eight mystery scrolls, you do the puzzles, and then you also get the Relic Song ability with also catching Meloetta. Not really going to worry about that because I want to do the puzzles and two, Re Relic Song just gives you like extra items and stuff and I'm not really worried about that. We did Amy's quest, Azir. There is the Rose Qu uh, Crater quest. Like I said, I'm actually like thinking I might actually be able to just finish all these one after another. Because you go back to where you go back to the Infernal base, which is up here. Oh, Augur, thank goodness you're here. I made a huge mistake. Very bad. Goof up. Had to make a delivery of Professor Sylvian. It's a big old box I had to take from Telenor Town to here. Curious though, what could be so important? Told not to, but I took a peek at the old box. It was a glowing red and orange rock. I think it was the Magma Stone. I was surprised the artifact from Sinnoh. In my hands. So surprised, Mr. Augur, sir, that I dropped it and went rolling away. Right in the lava. Ends of volcano. Straight down. When sinking, I was nervous. Scared. Professor was going to be so mad. So I looked for a fire type to try and fish it out. But then the mountain started rumbling. I don't know what has happened. No siree. See, there it was again. Some before it rumbled, I saw two Pokemon fighting. Two scary looking Pokemon. Big ones. But you gotta help. The only one I know you can help, Mr. Augur, sir. Lava everywhere. I'm afraid it's going to erupt. You gotta help. You just gotta find that stone. Okay. Heatran and Volcanon. Okay. 
So they're the two Pokemon that's fighting right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's still Pokemon in here. But I will have to say, this will be the last episode. The actual finale finale. This game has been... It's been an experience. I will say that. This game has definitely been an experience. It's been a fun experience. But it's been an experience. I may want to come back to do this. Because I also want to try it randomized. Which, that'll be really, really fun. I feel like it will be. The only thing I'm scared of is that I can't randomize it the way I want to. Where, like, even if I lose, it still keeps the randomization. It's going to go back to the other old Nuzlocke rules. Which, the normal Nuzlocke rules for this game is, like, normal ones. Once you wipe out, you're done with the Nuzlocke. But I still continue with the party in the box. Because I'm like, I may have lost the battle, but I didn't lose the war. Okay, so that was Volcanion just now. But that's why I'm like, I used the box still left over. Because I'm like, I got like 124 Pokemon. There's no reason for me to lose this game because I lost with only six. But with the randomization, that's how it runs. So we're going to try this out and see how it goes. If I do end up losing, I don't know what I'm going to do exactly. But I'll be able to, I'll think about it more whenever I get to that point. But I would love to do this game randomized. Because that would be like so much fun, like an egg lock or something like that. That'd just be so amazing, actually. No more shaking. But there's still wild Pokemon in here? I didn't know there was going to be. That's why I took the repel off. Or maybe because that since they're under here and the Inferno Coat's no longer down here, maybe the wild Pokemon came down here also at the same time. There's Heatran. Okay. Okay, so we got to keep going. Yum. Uh, okay, can't go that way. Oh, I can go this way. Yes, he's another repel because I don't want to fight nobody. Um, I don't know if it was the left or the right I got to go through. Seems the way deeper in, but the roaring mar lava makes it dangerous to walk through. Magma suit. Okay. Shout out to Oras. This is kind of cool. I like how they did that from Oras with the magma suit. That's kind of cool. That is really cool, actually. Uh, do I just... Oh, I guess I do not fall down. No. Okay, so I can fall down. And there are Pokemon still. Okay. I wish I could keep the magma suit. That's kind of a cool little suit. Just like... Beep, boop, beep, boop. But this game has definitely been fun. It's definitely been an experience. I will say that. Been fun, been experience, and like I said, I want to try this randomized so badly. I'm thinking it'll be like more like a stream series instead of like a video series, but I'm not 100% positive. I need to kind of figure out what I want to do with that. But no. Because there's just some Pokemon you can't get till later on, and there's some Pokemon that'd be cool to have that you just can't really get. Or even then, just with the different uh, abilities and stuff like that. They just make it cool, too. Like, imagine the Delta Storlax with, like, huge power. Or, you know, like, getting, like, some of the different Megas. Like, Dega Omega uh, Darmanitan. And, you know, getting, like, an Armor Zekrom and stuff like that. That'd just be really cool. <laughs> At least I think it'd be really cool. If I could find my way through here. Aha, right here. But I think that would just be really cool. There's a Tesseract thing, which I'm not really worried about. Use another repel. Okay. It won't let me go through there. That's weird. I guess I gotta use a Tesseract. Because I bet it's not as bad. I bet I can go like in the past or something like that. Yeah, I go in the past and then it lets me go through this crater right here. Yes! That is exactly what it is. Uh, then you got a hard swap? Do I have the hard s Hmm, let me try a hard swap and let me see what that does. Well, I, I thank you for that, but... What is that? Unless... 
That does what I think it does. Because I bet I use the Tesseract here. Go back into the present. Oh. I don't like the range. But I, get but I go back to the present. Then I could use a heart swap with that statue. Because I moved it. Mm, nope. That wasn't it. <laughs> that was not it. Okay. Um, Maybe I missed something here. Let me see. Tesseract. Because I don't know why it won't just let me pass. Because that's weird. I'm supposed to hard swap with this, like, right here. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, I got an idea. I have an idea. I think I know what it's going to make me do. I bet I gotta use it to put the magma there. I bet that's what I gotta do. I gotta put it right here. I bet that's what it is. Because then when I go back to the present, that magma is not gonna be able to flow down anymore. That's not a bad little puzzle. That's the first time I've seen it use something like that. But I bet I'm right. I'm right, yeah. And it was no longer there. And then it lets me come over here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna push that forward, push that there. Nope. Um Okay. There we go. I don't know if that was the right way to do it, but it let me do it that way. Magma stone that was dropped. Pick it up? Sure. Okay, there's Groudon now. Okay. I like the little run he does. <laughs> okay, so I have to beat or slash catch Groudon. I'm not really worried about legendaries. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so we're gonna crunch. Not really worried about catching him slash beating him. So I'm just gonna continue with the story on from here. Okay. Yeah, no, you did it. No, I'm good. Just crunch. But normally you would catch, slash, beat him here, and then that's how you would be able to get growled on here. Okay, then we head towards the exit. Which. I'm now stuck. Am I supposed to use an escape rope? I mean, I'll use an escape rope. Okay, then when you come back out, you see these two Pokemon battling. Magma Sword is vibrating. Then they double to battle you. And then what happens is you can catch one here, and then you have to go back to that Magma Cavern and then catch the other one there. That is how you would do that. But that is how you catch these two guys. You catch one of them here, then you go back to Magma Cavern, and then you catch... No, not Magma Cavern, sorry. You would go to the Cave of Steam to get a Volcanion. You would go to the Fiery Caverns for Heatran. Is how you would do that. Whoa, wait a minute. Why did nothing happen? Yeah, I must have missed something there because I don't know why that happened. But that's where they each of them go, and then you would go out and go catch them. And that is everything with that. Can I keep this? Can I keep this and still leave, is what I want to know. Because if I keep this, that'd be kind of cool. Just have a little suit like that. Can I use escape rope here? Ah, Okay. I'm going to cut real quick so I can get over to the last uh, little other optional quest. Whop! Whop, we are back. Okay, so this is the next one. It has to deal 
with Deanna's parcel. So what you would do is you would come over here to Selene City and you would talk to her. Hey Dorman, I, I need a huge favor. Listen after the events on Mount Rose, but do some thinking. Family should come first, and I'll let fear come in between my sister and me. Fairfield might be the most important person in my life, now more than ever, after, you know, the thing on Mount Rose. I'd like to deliver this package to her. Okay. Pay you, I can pay you when you get back, I promise. It's something that's very important to both of us. I just want Ferris to know that I'd like to start over with her. It really mean a lot to me. This is a bridge I'd really like to rebuild. Not a problem. And for I rem remember, there should be a way to easily get down here. I want to say maybe a little ways down here. Because there's on one of these roads where you can easily get back to there. Nope. Okay, so we're gonna do the shortcut that I know of, which is the Cult of Darkrai. Because it says you can go to Route 5 and go to there. But that's the part where I'm trying to figure out is where on Route 5. Route oh, wait, I remember now where. It's through here. I remember now. My bad. I almost went to the uh, Cult of Darker again. Because I believe I go up here. Yes, yeah, right here. Well, thank you for practicing your crunch. But it says we gotta go to the Realm, Realm Village. So it's gonna take us a second to get there. Okay, now. Cerebrum, wait, what the heck? Map. Crayon Town, Erebus City. Oh, Rem Village is way across. Okay. Give me a second, I'm gonna cut to it. Plop. Hello, we got back, we found Ferris Fiend. Dormant, back already, I see. To return Dark Ray soon? Are you finally going to let me claim what is rightfully mine? No? I see. I handed over the parcel. I wonder. It's a picture of when we were kids. Before Cresselia chose her. Before the infernal cult ruined our lives. This has not changed what she did. What she did for me was unforgivable. I won't know. I can't forget it. She ruined my past. Every rotten speck of my life has been because of her. But maybe it's time I stop letting her affect my future. Maybe I'll go see her again. Someday. When I have Dark Rai for sure. Dormant, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you. Picture meant a lot to me. It'll help pass the time until you release Dark Yari. Potentially or not. I guess she wants some reward, right? I've got like 30 of these. I can't even prepare. I'm sure I can spare one. Go catch some legendary that's not Dark Rai. Stay out of my life. Got it? So then now, I'm going to make the long trek back over to uh, Dianza, so plop. Hello, we are back over to Dianza, and she's like, I delivered the parcel all the way to the Dream Realm? Wasn't sure if you actually do it. Thanks so much, that really means the world to me. No basic clearance since the whole battle up on Mount Rose. Been looking hard, but no luck so far. But just in case, well, I think it'd be best if you take his man to pee in the meantime. I think it's what we have wanted, would have wanted to. And we got Manaphy. Now we're not gonna name it. Done with being a trainer. Gonna leave the gym as is. Maybe somebody will take over if they're ambitious enough. In the meantime, I'd really like to help Professor Sylvian. City Pokemon has always been so interesting to me, especially rarer ones like Delta species. Helping around has become a dream come true. Because of that, I had to say goodbye to my team. Also, I think they'd be happier off without me. Jeff wasn't doing them any favors by being around them when I'm this worried about Calrith. Hopefully they'll be happy in the wild. Thank you, Gidor, man. I'm so glad I have a caring friend like you to help me out. And that's everything with Dan. So we already did Audrey's fate. Okay, now we've got the last two things left. And I'm going to go ahead and... Mm. We're going to save that for the next episode. I was going to do it all for this episode, but we're going to save that one just for a little remnants and spend about 35 minutes. It'll be a good little last little episode here, but I want to thank everybody for watching the series with me. Tune in for the next last episode.
It's going to be very amazing. It'll be very fun. And don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, share to neighbors, share to friends, share to coworkers. Trying to get to 250. Once we get to 250, hit a channel announcement. And with that, I'll see you by next time. Peace.